You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have, she's been on the program before, board certified prosthodontist, Dr. Carolina Cespedes. Dr. Cespedes, welcome to the program. Thank you, hi Randy. Now I guess most of your patients call you Dr. C. That's you right, yeah. My C. last name is not an easy one to pronounce sometimes. So Dr. C, I'm not a, I'm known around as Dr. C. Now for people that don't know Clear Choice, who's the typical patient that you see? Uh, there. Okay, so our day-to-day -day patients are patients that first of all they have not gone to the dentist for a long time either because they're indentures right and so when you end up in a denture that's the end of it for your dental life um, unless you have to have them realigned or redone every seven to ten years okay. um, or because they are so fearful of going to the dentist that even if they have their teeth they prefer to avoid the dentist until they really need something and that's when they come to us Okay, so, you know, when we talk about at the top of the show, no more dentures. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody should be wearing a loose-fitting denture. Of course not. So, are, are there a lot of denture wearers where you are? Oh, yeah. Like in Seattle area? Absolutely. I mean, thousands of people wear dentures nowadays. We don't see them or we don't, we, we don't recognize them as wearing dentures because they've become magicians in hiding what they're wearing. Uh, but, yes, tons of people are either complete dentures or partials. When you say magicians, that means they're, they're not smiling. Is that right? Well, yeah, it's, it's those patients that you see they've grown a mustache or a okay. full beard, or they just smile with their mouth closed. They just don't show their teeth. Or if they show them, they're holding their dentures in just with their tongues, or they use tons of adhesive in order to keep them in place. Okay, good. Now, we should talk a little bit about your experience. I mean, you are, look, we've been doing the program for 20 years, and uh, I mean, you're one of the most experienced people mm -hmm. at this full arch dentistry where they walk in with no teeth, walk out with a brand new set of teeth. Tell us a little bit about your background, training. Um, well, I, I did my um, undergrad training in Costa Rica. I'm originally from Costa Rica, and then I moved to um, Dallas about 10 years ago. And then I did my, um, my specialty in prosthodontics and my master's degree. And that's also where I taught and practiced for three years before I moved to Seattle, you know, where I practice now. Now, you brought some photos. Yes. And this is, these are some of the patients you see in the practice. Let's take a look. Okay. Well, this is Marita. Okay. She's, she's one of my favorite patients. Um, Marita, she grew up in Kosovo. And, you know, she was you know, the country in war. She was moving from refugee camp to refugee camp. And as you can imagine, in that scenario, dental health is the last thing in your head, right? Okay. Um, and so she moved to America many years ago, and when she got here, you know, she realized that, it, especially here in America, we see the TV, the TV and the movies, and everyone, you know, the Hollywood smile. Yeah. If you're successful, if you're handsome or beautiful, you have a great smile. And so, of course, she wanted that. She wanted, she's a beautiful woman. She wanted a beautiful That's smile. That's got to be unusual, though, I and mean, that looks pretty bad. Uh, well, this is, this is actually a patient that had a lot of teeth as compared to many of my patients. Is that right? Yeah, and, and the reason why you feel it might be uncommon is because a patient like this usually would hide their smile. They would just smile. They don't smile. Correct, and she wanted to have a big smile like everyone else. She is a teacher and she wanted to have a beautiful smile to feel confident talking to the parents of her, the kids that she teaches. Mm -hmm. And that's when we decided to do a full reconstruction on implants for her. So. This this woman, one of her options would have been a denture. Couldn't save the teeth. Correct. It could be a denture. It could be a snap in or a snap out, or having something that it's really a permanent solution that allows her to eat like if they were her teeth, and feel the confidence that nothing's going to come out of her mouth. So upper and lower teeth, a full arch of teeth on upper and lower that mm -hmm. don't come out. Correct. Let me take a look at the after. If you look at those pictures, Randy, I mean the change is it's. Great. Looks I mean, different. Before, she looks like a different person. Totally. And on the the woman on your left, it's, it's just like she was an actress, you know, in a movie. She looks beautiful, gorgeous. You can even see her skin looks so different. It's a completely different person. And if you relate that to how she behaved in the room, you know, when we talked to Marita the first time, it was, you know, she was smaller person, you know, more guarded. Um, after that, when she got her smile, it was like beautiful coming in and out, just filling in the room. So is it just because I guess when people feel good about themselves, it changes how they act? Of course. What they talk about? Of course, and not only that, but they feel how people are perceive them different. And therefore, 
they are more confident talking to everyone around them and just smiling at them. And smiling makes us feel better inside in our soul too. Now, you, you know, a lot of people that go to you, and we talked on the phone about this, that they see your ads on TV. A lot of great stories. They watch it over and over, maybe a year worth of watching it. Then they come in and they're still skeptical. Like, are you sure, doctor? I can do this? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, a lot of people, they have been told that they don't have the bone. Um, or that they are not candidates. And I can tell you, you know, after doing many of these cases, I have one of the most experienced surgeons, I would say, even within the network in Clear Choice. He's been doing this for 35 years, and we, he knows how to use the special implants for those patients that do okay. not have bone, or we have other alternatives also for them. But at the end, we've always been able to have them end up with something that's permanent. How soon can they eat? with this? The same day. That's a question that patients ask me all the time. You know, they're done and we're giving them their post-op instructions right after, you know, they see their new smile. And they ask me, okay, can I, when can I eat? When you go home. Be careful mm -hmm. not to eat t something too hard just because you're so numb right now that you won't be able to know if you're eating your food or your tongue. The nice thing about getting the permanent set of teeth the same day is the fact that these teeth sit on top of the wound where the implants were placed and therefore because these teeth don't move you can chew on them nothing will hurt underneath. Oh it's not pushing against the gums? No nothing like okay. dentures it won't sink into your gums it won't hurt the wound underneath it will just allow them to eat without experiencing any discomfort. The thing is that the teeth um, you know the discomfort as far as the procedure that it's done it's different on every person okay. right that is the discomfort from the procedure but from chewing on your teeth no discomfort will be added. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And okay. so they could eat. Now, what about like when things heal up? I mean, they could bite like a carrot with their front teeth or they have to be careful a little bit? With their final set of teeth, they can eat a carrot, bite into an, into an apple. I've had patients ask me, can I have an apple? Yes. Can I have caramel? Can I chew on a little yeah, caramel? Yeah, what about yeah. chewy things? Yeah, you can do that. I tell them, go buy a caramel apple and chew on it and then you can try <laughs> all of it. Yeah. Do you hear a lot of ch uh, eating stories? like what they're like the missing. Patients? Oh yeah. Every, I mean, do they come in and brag about what they're eating? Uh, well, I hear them in the before and in the after, right? I hear okay. them when we get the initial consultation that they, most male patients, they want to eat a nice piece of steak. Okay. Most women, they want to eat salad. They're kind of hypocritical. Both want to eat both, I think. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but, um, but these are the hardest things to chew. Protein and fibrous things are very hard to chew without having real teeth. And especially from the health standpoint, and this is kind of another thing added to it, you know, these are the things that we're supposed to be eating. Otherwise, we're eating carbs, and that's what's worse for your health. And so you hear how they want to eat the steak and the salad, and then the last, you know, the last appointment when they get their final set of teeth, that they can eat whatever they want, then I hear the stories about, right now I'm going to the steakhouse around the corner, I'm That's gonna nice. have a nice, beautiful piece of steak. So what do they like more? Do they like the eating or do they like the way it looks? Or is it a combination of both? It's a combination of both. I mean, that's why this treatment is so good for our patients because it looks fantastic, right? And I tell patients, we can make them look as natural as you want or as Hollywood as you want. We okay. have different colors, shapes, sizes. We really customize the smile to them. A lot of my patients, they want it to be white, straight, and beautiful, but I've had patients that they've asked me for crooked teeth. So, and really? this is, yeah, and this is what they want. Truly, it's a smile designed for so them. So that way, not everybody says, wow, what'd you do to your teeth? Oh, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah, a thing. exactly. Uh, there are some other patients that they say, oh, whatever, if I'm getting new teeth, let them be perfect, right? Um, but then there's the functionality part the part that you know you can eat and sit in a table in a restaurant and order whatever you want from the menu, not whatever you can eat out of that menu. Now, I know a couple of denture wearers. Mm -hmm. They never complain. Well, because you're not a dentist, so okay. they won't complain okay. to you. <laughs> they will complain to me, though. All right, <laughs> yeah. all right. So yeah. it's tough with the dentist. Now, what about the upper, though? The upper denture's okay, right? Has suction? Kind of. I mean, if you want to feel your mouth full of plastic, I guess, yeah, it's it's okay. okay. I have a story actually of a patient that it's a very funny one All because right. he was a denture wearer for more than 20 years, right? He was actually fairly young, very handsome guy. And um, when he came in, he was kind of hesitant of having treatment done. The wife had had treatment done with us, so she knew better. Okay. Um, and then when he got the denture, he was, or the prosthesis, his fixed reconstruction his implants. New teeth, his new teeth. Yeah, he was so happy. By the way, he ended up going to a Whitney Houston concert the same day of his surgery, <laughs> which I strongly advise him not to do that. Okay. But anyways, when we saw him two weeks after his treatment was 
done, um, he complained to me. He was very upset with me okay. because he could no longer buy cheap wine. He said that now that his palate was uncovered, he had to buy an expensive wine because the cheap wine didn't taste the same way, right? Because now you can taste your food much better. But you brought some props. Yes. Showing me like the difference in what you're doing. So that's a typical denture. Correct. With the roof of the mouth covered. Okay. Yeah. So if you look at a denture, you will see that there is a lot of pink all around. You have the pink that covers your palate. You have the pink that covers your gums. Um, this pink that covers the gums, patients hate it because it kind of gives you okay. a monkey look type, right? Okay. Like it okay. really bulks up everything, your lips and your cheeks. Um, so when we compare the amount of pink, you know, that you see with a fixed reconstruction on implants as compared to this. You can see that the amount of pink is yeah, minimal. Yeah, let me take a look at this. So it's basically just like teeth. It, yeah. yeah. It just, it's a horseshoe that sits on top of your gums. Do they notice like things taste better? Like when it's all done, do they, do they say spices yeah. are better, flavors are better? Absolutely. Wine's better. Yeah, wine's better. Uh, but it's just, you know, feeling the temperature of your food, being able to feel when we go out to eat, eating is an experience and you wanna feel the temperature of the food, the texture of the food. You know, it's not, it's the flavor, it's all of those things combined. And if you have your mouth full of plastic, it barely leaves space for the food, right? So how old can you be to get this done? Like somebody wearing a denture or they have no teeth, how old? Well, my oldest patient is 96. So, 96? Yeah. Why would a 96 year old wanna do this? because they want to eat and chew and smile. Okay. This is what yeah. everyone wants, right? I mean, it doesn't change if you're 20, if you're 50, or if you're 90. Um, and as, unless you're planning to take your money with you somewhere else, you might as well spend it on what's going to give you the so best So you're 96 year old, how'd that work out? Well. Like you gave them brand new teeth? Yeah, well, just like for any other patient, they would come into the office, we will do a full exam, we would select the smile that they want to have, and then they will come in one day, if they're in dentures, then we'll put the implants in there and then give them something permanent. Is that right? And yeah. then, uh, so they're not more likely to fall out if you're 90 statistically no, than if no. you're younger? No, not really. So I 80 mean, is young. Like like if a 96 year old's doing it, 80 is young. Absolutely. My average patient, I would say, ranges between 60 and 75 years old. And then okay. we have the 80s and the 90s, yeah. Now, you know, I was talking to one of the prosthodontists, been on the show, Dr. Adams, he says that when it's all done, a lot of them will say, I should have done this years ago. Oh, I hear that every day. Like it's, like I said before, you know, my average patient, it's a patient that's very fearful that it took them scheduling an appointment 10 times before oh, really? showing up. Okay. I've had patients that they ha have walked out of my waiting room and come back another day because they're scared. This means that they've put this off for a very long time, most of them for years. And when they finally see how good it was, Almost everyone says, I wish I've done it before. Okay, good. We're going to take a quick break and we come back more about the process, what people can expect on day one. You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. My dental problems prevented me from doing things like singing. My teeth could come out at any time. It's just like a big hole that you can't seem to fill because you can't do the things that you love. She was just in a quiet place, and you know, that's just not her. Going to Clear Choice, it was a calm that came over me that I hadn't had before. She said she had gotten other dental recommendations, but nobody really listened to her and made her feel comfortable. We are able to help patients get to a point they thought was never possible. The transformation, it is just a joy to be able to say it, it really can be done in one day because we have the whole team there in one place. I could sing out loud. It's a permanent part of me that allowed me to do the things that I love with the people that I love most. You're watching the Wellness Hour News that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. With us, we have an expert on the topic, board certified prosthodontist, Dr. Carolina Suspedes. Dr. Suspendus, welcome back to the program. Lots of photos here. Yes. Um, now, I was gonna ask you this. So what if you have really bad gums, like bleeding gums, like, like gum disease? Yeah. Can you still do this? Absolutely. Um, more than, probably half or more, of, half of the patients that we see are patients that they actually have periodontal disease. Okay. Um, I like to educate my patients as far as what periodontal disease is because a lot of patients have it and they don't even know. 
I have to surprise patients many times by telling them what's going on in their mouths. So it's an infection? It's an infection. Like yes. a bacterial infection? It's a bacterial okay. infection. And basically what it does, it produces bone loss around your teeth to the point where patients start seeing how their teeth shift. They, um, they're mobile. And the bad thing about this disease is that it actually is correlated to a, a lot of health issues, okay. like diabetes and um, heart conditions. So it's not a good infection to have, right? Um, and these patients get to the point where they are referred to have dentures. They, they get to realize that their teeth have to come out and they have to end up in dentures. And these are actually one of the, the patients that have the hardest times because from having maybe all their teeth, just missing one or two, they go straight into a denture. There was no, not even a transition of having bridges or partials. No, they, have, they go from having all their teeth to getting dentures. Huge change for them. It affects their lives in so many ways. And so with our procedure with implants, they never have to go through the denture process. They go nice. straight from having teeth to having teeth. Oh, well, nice. Yeah. Except for having teeth that are strong. Correct. They can eat and chew. No infection. So when you extract the teeth, you clean up the gums. Correct. Gums get healthy again? Uh-huh. Correct. And then, you know, same day we put the implants in there. As long as there is no um, disease left in the mouth, then we can expect a, an excellent survival rate of the implants. Okay. And then they can have a beautiful smile. And some of these patients haven't been in the dentist in like 15, 20 years. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the average, I would say. So what do you say when they say, you know, like they probably feel bad about themselves sometimes. You Thank said you. you don't shame anybody. No, but the way that we do things in our center, it's very different. Okay. The experience that the patients have is very, very different. Because first, it's a patient-centered treatment where everyone from the front desk to my dental assistants to the surgeons, everyone knows who is our patient and what's their background. And so we know that their experience and changing that fear, it's our main focus. Okay. And the way that we do things, you know, because this is what we do every day. And after doing it so many times, yeah. you just become an efficiency expert, all right. right? All right. And so we know how to help our patients take their hands and we're in this journey together. And and that's how we help them transition from the fear to actually liking coming to see us, right? And and loving their new smile. Okay, good. We'll go to another photo. So this is Krista. Krista has a bakery and she does cupcakes. And she wanted to have a full, beautiful, fixed set of teeth. One is she wanted to give an example, set a good example for her kids. As a business owner, when you are trying to sell whatever you're trying to sell, if it's cars, houses, if it's cupcakes, you are selling yourself as well. Okay. And when you feel confident, then it makes you reach out to people in a much connected way. Okay. And so that's why, you know, she got a full complement of teeth on implants. Wow. So she could have been wearing a denture, well, but she goes to clear choice yeah. to get new teeth. Yeah. Well, she was wearing a big partial. You can see She's Krista's nice. beautiful and young and we gave her a beautiful smile, something that she wanted it to be straight. As you can see, the smile follows her lower lip, you know, the size of her teeth. We use all these parameters. The width of her nose is how wide her front teeth should be. Um, we try to keep it natural, but making the eye teeth a little pointier. Um, something that looks natural and suits her face. We're short on time. I don't want to rush you, but I know you want to get through as many of those as possible. Yeah, that's fine. So this is Kathy. And you were asking about older patients. She's in her 80s. Okay. And something that we see very frequently is that as we age, we start taking more medications. Well, it turns out that almost every medication out there nowadays has a side effect of dry mouth. And saliva actually protects the teeth from decay. And when we start seeing these patients in their 70s and 80s and they have dry mouth, patients that maybe have been really good about going to the dentist and getting treatment done, they start having rampant decay. All their teeth, they become decayed. And Kathy was one of them. And so she's losing her teeth because of dry mouth. Correct. And her so options were a traditional denture. Correct. Okay. Or getting implants done. Especially with older patients, one of the things that it's very important about getting implants for them is dentures, we know from research, the older you get the dentures, the harder it is for patients to adapt to them. And so when we have someone that's in the 70s or 80s that they've lived 70 years or 80 years with their own teeth, it's almost impossible for them to adapt 
to adapt to something as big as a denture. Okay. And that's where implants solve that problem because she ends up having teeth. <laughs> that's a nice photo. Yeah, yeah. She, I loved her because she used to come with her hats all the time. And, um, and then when she started wearing her smile, you know, it was just like perfect picture with her beautiful hats all around. Yeah. So eating, so again, she could eat whatever. Whatever she wants. I mean, it yeah. must have been tough to eat the way she was before. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can, if you could see her before and after, she gained weight because, you know, she was, she had lost a lot of weight not being able to eat whatever she could. And once she got her final set of teeth, she started putting on weight and she was dressing, dressing fancier, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful So. This is another patient, Randy. This All is right. Emerson. He had, you know, periodontal disease and kind of the scenario we were talking about. You know, he came in, we extracted all the teeth, cleaned out all the infection, put the implants in, and this is how Emerson left that Handsome that guy, day. looking good. Uh, yeah, yeah, he wanted the best smile in the world, so. <laughs> is that what he said? Uh, yeah, yeah, those were his words. Um, this is Chi, and in her case, she was wearing a big partial um, on the bottom, denture on the top, one day we extracted the teeth. In her case, her jaws were a little, they had a little discrepancy. So we had to work with that um, during the surgery. And then this is how she left. Wow. You can see that she no longer we wears glasses. What a difference. Yeah. A lot of patients actually, you know, they have big transformations. Um, I have another one in here that his before and after wear glasses and no glasses as well. You know, because patients, they start with their smile and then all of a sudden they want to improve how they look. And So getting a brand new set of teeth. You know, I know that Dr. Mark Adams works with Clear Choice and he says it's like a third set of teeth. Do you feel that way? Yeah. Yeah. The baby set of teeth, your, you know, adult set of teeth. And then this is the one after the adult set of teeth fails. And because it really allows you to function like if they're your own teeth. And these look real. I mean, this is really looking good. Yeah. Yeah. I always told you, know, I think I told you, I, I feel like I could spot a denture walking down the street or fake teeth, but these look real. Yeah. I think yeah. anybody would agree with this. Yeah. And, and if you look at a lot of those, sometimes, yes, they're very white and very straight. This is what my patients ask for. But if, if you are at home and you're thinking about getting this done and you want a crooked set of teeth, I can do that so for you. So do they you. get to pick a little bit, like what their smile's gonna look like? We talk about this. We okay. have an appointment where we together. You can show together. them photos, things like that? Absolutely, absolutely. I've had patients bring me pictures from how they looked when they were younger. I'm never gonna forget this lady. She brought me a picture of her crooked, literally crooked smile when she was younger. It was a perfect picture because it was a big blow out of her smile so I could see every detail. And we built it together. And wow. when she left, she had that picture from that 20 year old picture. Okay, so let me show you this next patient. This All is right. Cindy. Um, she works in the hotel industry, and so for her it was very important to have a beautiful professional smile to greet all the customers that came into the hotel. And this is Cindy after treatment. Golly, not even, it's like totally different. So again, her options would have been a denture. A denture, yeah. She needed to have all her teeth extracted due to periodontal disease, so it was either a denture or getting a full permanent set of teeth. People travel, I guess from all over. Yes. Uh, to see you. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, we have a lot of patients from Alaska, Montana, Idaho, even from Hawaii. Uh, this is Neil, so very handsome gentleman, and he also wanted a beautiful smile. He wanted to eat steak, so that was important okay. for him. Now he's eating steak. Yeah, now he's eating steak, yes. This other one, this is Greg. So Greg, was a, he's a musician, and so he plays um, wind instruments. With the denture, you cannot play wind instrument. Tough. Okay. If you blow air, the denture will come with it. And so, um, so the denture was never an option for him. He wanted something permanent so he can continue to Do play. Do they come in and actually say, look, I want teeth that don't come out? Yeah. I mean, what's their lingo? Like, what do they say? They want a permanent solution. Okay. They want a permanent solution. And in his case, because he plays the flute and the horn, immediately, I played the saxophone for eight years. I okay. totally understand. And so... I told him, yes, the, the best option for you would be something that is you blowing air through your mouth, playing your music and your instruments, it doesn't come out. And so this was his Hollywood smile after that. Looking good. He's probably booking more jobs as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I just show you sure, one more? Sure, Okay, so this is Leo. 
And right. Leo was very funny guy, and he he really wanted to go have a nice set of teeth that allows him to go to a powwow and you know he's very social wanted to go okay. places in seattle um and we ended up doing you know so one day i mean this happens in one day they walk in with no teeth or teeth that have to be extracted and they walk out like this correct yeah so he's got to be happy so now he can eat whatever he wants yeah he can go to the powwows feel good about you know mingling and at the same time eating you know, and having, enjoying the whole experience. Now when it's all done, I, I guess you have like a two week follow up and you say that they're different yes. in just two weeks. Yeah. Actually, just because of their teeth. Actually, a lot of a lot of doctors in the network, they, they talk about how the day of the surgery is their favorite day because they get, it's a transformation day, right? Yeah. But you know, patients want to go home, they're tired. Um, but truly where, what I love, it's seeing them at the two week post-op because they've been living now their lives for two weeks with a whole new look. And they start okay. to see the reaction of their friends and family and of going out and just the smiling at people, seeing themselves in the mirror in the morning every day and nice. just looking at this new smile. And it already starts that change in their attitude, in their body language, in the way that they speak. And you can see them, that transformation, how it starts. That's my favorite. So if they let it, I mean, this could really change their life. Well, this is what people we, that are smiley. It seems like, uh, you know, that's how we think of charisma. The, we change people's lives every day. We're good. The smile helps them get the confidence that they need to let their true personalities shine out. And on top of that, they get to enjoy the experience of eating again. Okay, good. I, look, we're out of time. I want to thank you for coming on the show. If they want to, to, to get an appointment, do they get to see you? Yes, they will get to see me. Okay, good. And they could go to the website, look at the photos and make an appointment. If everything works out perfectly, like, mm -hmm. you know, they're healthy, et cetera, some 75, 80 year olds watching this, could they have a brand new set of teeth next month? Uh, yeah, that's how it works. And let me tell you, Randy, even if they're not healthy, it can happen to them. A lot of the patients that we see, they are not necessarily healthy. Because as you can imagine, there is an implication of not having teeth and my patient's health. A lot of these patients, they have issues, but we work with their doctors okay. so we can get them to the state where they can have this procedure done and they can have the beautiful smile. So thanks again. Yeah. Great job. Thank nice you. To see you Thank again. you for having me. Sure. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.